Walk through Granary Burial Ground and among monuments to America's founding fathers, some black history literally part of the plot. So we're standing uh, next to the common grave in which Christmas Attucks was buried. Attucks, a former Framingham slave of black and Native American descent, stood up to British soldiers and went down in history as a patriot who spurred the American Revolution. He and a group of fellow uh, Bostonians uh, staged a protest. Um, they confronted uh, British soldiers and the soldiers shot into the crowd and Crispus Attucks um, was the first to die at the massacre. And Most walked by and totally miss Attucks near Tremont Street. The very burial ground, there were people of color who were buried here. A lot of times um, they were buried in um, unmarked graves. Um, having a grave site or having a grave marker was a, a sign of somebody who had sort of some money. Dr. Kerry Greenwich, a Mellon assistant professor at Tufts University, has been uncovering hidden black history, including at what is now the AMC Theater, long before the multiplex, black resistance and resilience was shown here at the old Tremont Theater. In 1915, with the release of D.W. Griffith's film, Birth of a Nation, this theater became the site of massive protests by the black community against that film, which basically glorified the Ku Klux Klan and white violence against African Americans. Dr. Greenwich dug through the historic archives to learn all about the Tremont Theater here. And and to this day, there's no mark or nothing to denote all of the black history. We need uh, some more commemoration of black and uh, black stories here. So she wrote a book on black newspaper man William Monroe Trotter, a Harvard grad who fought racism. And they petitioned the mayor of Boston, James Michael Curley, to outlaw the film. And Curley was known to outlaw all sorts of films in Boston, um, banned in Boston. That's where that term comes from. Um, but he refused to ban Birth of a Nation. And so the black community staged a series of protests at this theater. They threw stuff at the screen so that uh, the movie couldn't be played. Beacon Hill was home to the black community in 1806 when these bricks were steeped in black culture. Blacks built and owned the Joy Street African Meeting House. The roots of black church building and black church building with community building, particularly in the north, is something that has its roots in the Boston community. The place is known as a church and one of the oldest museums, but did you know? It was then used as a synagogue in the late 19th century. So it was a continuously functioning church space from 1806 to roughly 1972. Black history gets chiseled into the American experience, mostly for this month of February, but there are so many missing pages to be told year-round. In Boston, Rondella Richardson, WCVB News Center 5.